and this unit circle survival guide will look to find the exact value of the cosine of 420 degrees using SARC. So SARC is just an acronym to help us keep all of our steps in order, make sure our final answer is accurate. Um, and so a quick breakdown of that, the S stands for sketch the angle. We'll do that for the terminal side of the angle. A helps us think of ASTC or um, all students take classes. It's just an acronym to remember which drug functions are positive in each quadrant. And from there, we'll be able to decide our final sign for our answer. R stands for reference triangle. So we'll find the reference angle and then the special right triangle and coordinates that go with that. And C is for calculating the trig ratio. So we'll do that for the cosine of 420 degrees. Okay, so first we want to sketch the angle. Let's look at 420 degrees and notice two things. First, we know we're rotating in the counterclockwise direction because our angle is positive. And second, notice that this is more than one rotation. So what's going to be helpful for sketching the terminal side of our angle is actually finding a co-terminal angle. And to do this, we just need to subtract 360 degrees, which is a full rotation, from 420. So we see 60 degrees is going to be co-terminal to 420, or basically they share the same terminal side. So if we sketch the terminal side for 60, that's the same terminal side for 420. And as you can see, 60 degrees is a lot easier to find. Um, we actually see here's zero, here's 90, of course, so 60 must be right about here. The terminal side is in quadrant one. Um, and again, this is the same terminal side for 420. You just rotated an extra counterclockwise rotation if you wanted to sketch it as 420. All right, now we can go to step two, thinking ASTC. Okay, and this just tells us which sugar functions are positive in each quadrant. So let's write that around. They're all positive in one, sine and cosecant in two, tangent and cotangent in three, and cosine and secant in four. Uh, luckily, we're in quadrant one. All the trig functions are positive. I love being in quadrant one. Um, we know we don't have to worry about any negative signs, all the coordinates here, and our final answer will be positive. All right, now we can find our reference angle and special right triangle and coordinates that go with it. And we've already kind of found that reference angle because a reference angle is just the amount of rotation from the terminal side to the x-axis. And since we found 60 degrees as the coterminal angle, we know that that is the amount of rotation there. Um, so our reference angle is 60 degrees, and that pairs with the 60-30 special right triangle. So that's the one with the shorter leg as its horizontal and the longer leg vertically. So we know the coordinates here must be 1 half as the x and square root of 3 over 2 as the y. And finally, we can calculate. We now have our coordinates. So thinking about our trig ratios, on the unit circle, the cosine of an angle is simply the x-coordinate. So really not much calculating here. We simply look at our coordinates. We see the x-coordinates 1 half. We remember our angles in the first quadrant, so it's positive. So the cosine of 420 degrees is positive 1 half. Uh, be sure to check the video description for links to more worked examples and help with any of these basic unit circle skills. Um, good luck with all your exact values, and thanks for watching.